Hi, my name is Mike Brenner, and I'm the president of Right Chord Leadership, a leadership and team development company located in Broomall, Pennsylvania. And uh, the reason for this short video is to invite you to a very special event on Thursday, November 16th. I will be um, at Pierce uh, delivering a presentation called Amplifying Your IQ. Now, when I say IQ in this context, I don't mean intelligence quotient, which is how many of us think about the term IQ. I mean innovation quotient. And I'm going to be putting forth what I hope is a compelling argument why all of us in this unpredictable and chaotic and hyper-competitive business environment need to amplify our IQ. In other words, need to amplify our ability to be creative and innovative. Now, we're going to be looking at this concept through two lenses. The first is called design thinking. Design thinking is a formal methodology that's used by many of the world's most creative and innovative companies. The same companies that have designed the things you use every day in your life. And the way that they address problems and make decisions and are able to look at things differently is something that all of us can learn from and apply to our jobs. And if you're thinking, well, Mike, I don't really do any creative or innovative work on my job, I suggest you look again, because every day we are put into situations or circumstances that call upon us to be creative and innovative. And design thinking is a, an approach that can really, really help us. Now, the second lens is the world of jazz improvisation. In addition to being a consultant and a trainer, I'm also a professional musician. And I took many, many years of uh, formal jazz lessons as a youngster. Now, the world of jazz improvisation is sort of a neat metaphor for organizational life. Because when you play jazz, the music is, for the most part, improvised. It's spontaneous. There's no script. And that's the same as working in a company, isn't it? There's no script. We have to adapt. We have to uh, look at things differently. We have to be open and receptive to new ideas or uh, things that, that we're not accustomed to. It's the same thing in jazz. Now, you don't have to like jazz or even be a musician to enjoy and get a lot of value out of this particular section of the presentation. So again, Thursday, November 16th at Pierce. I'll be there, and uh, we'll have a lot of fun. I hope the session is enlightening and enjoyable and that you walk away with a handful of immediately applicable concepts and ideas for your own work. Until then, I wish you the very best. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my email is michael at rightcordleadership.com. That's cord with an H. And my website is www.rightcordleadership.com. Looking forward to seeing you on November 16th. Take care.